What is up, YouTube? <laughs> Trade Mode James here, coming at you with a recorded video. We're going to talk about microvision today and what happened today, where we ended up, and where we're going to end up in the next couple weeks. All right, so let's jump right into it, man. Uh, let's jump right into this. So what happened today is exactly what I said was going to happen. We were just going to jump right off this trend line. All right, the six month strong trend line, we're in the past when we've jumped off of it. We have had a really, really big move to the upside. All right, that jump right there, that bounce right there took us very, very high up to about $28.10. That was that really, 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 really big run up. All right, uh, and the catalyst was the bounce off this trend line. Uh, we look to the right here, and the same kind of thing is happening here, right? My last microvision video, I told you guys that uh, we were going to be probably bouncing off this trend line uh, and, uh, you know, making our way back up to this golden zone. We couldn't really verify the golden zone yet until today because we didn't really know the actual bottom of this move, all right? This it could have broken the trend line, but it didn't. It did what I said it was going to do and it bounced right off of it. So we can confidently use this trend line, guys. The way I find these golden zones, I pull my Fibonacci retracement tool from the top of the move to the bottom and we get this golden zone, this 50% to 61.8% retracement level, this zone. It's a reversal zone. So typically when price gets back up to a golden zone or back down to one, it likes to reverse off of it. It happens more times than not. When you get in the golden zone and then get back above it or back below it, you know, as the move continues, that is where the power lies, all right? And that's what's going to be the catalyst for us making a higher high. But first, but first, we have some hurdles, obviously. It's not going to be the easiest, easiest trip in the world. All right, we got these key levels here uh, marked in for you guys. The first one's going to be about $16, all right? $16 is going to put us back above this level of structure to the left right here, which is going to give us some support to make our moves to the next level. We, As we level up, we're going to gain momentum, all right? People that got out on this dip are going to be getting back in as they see the stock price going up, breaking key levels, uh, and not just, you know, consolidating, like really just breaking through them. And that's what we need to have happen here. We don't want to consolidate. I mean, it's not bad to consolidate. In fact, it's actually sometimes it's good. But in our case, we want to get back up above that 1932 as quick as possible. All right. And so for us to do that, number one, we're going to need volume. Number two, we're going to need people participating in this dip. All right. In this dip. It's a very, very discounted price right now. Uh, 15, 15, 20, 15, 30 for an average on microvision is nothing to, to be sad about. That's a good average, right? A lot of people are a lot higher than that. Uh, but the next key level up from $16 is going to be about $16.75. That's going to put us at another key level. And uh, we're in the past, we found resistance and support. So we went ahead and marked that in. The next one above that is going to be about $17.90. Uh, and the one above that is that $19.32, which I talked about for so long. And it really is probably one of the most key levels in this stock because every single time in the past we've hit it, we've had insane moves to the bottom side. All right, one, two, three. And, uh, you know, another one here, we got these big dips off this zone, all right? And it's just a very, very, very key level. And uh, so if you break that and you close above it, that shows a lot of strength, right? And that's what we're going to want to have happen here. In the short term, this week, I think we continue the bounce off this trend line. We gain some momentum. We might possibly come back and retest the trend line uh, again. It's possible. RSI on the daily is not super duper oversold yet. It's about 38 on the RSI for the daily. Um and it's still trucking down, all right? So this makes me think maybe possibly we retest the trend line here and find another form of support later on in the uh, down the line, all right? Somewhere at the end of this wedge, or maybe over here somewhere, all right? Around 1490, maybe something like that. And then if, we, if and when we break above this wedge, which like you already know, or you should know, uh, this is a descending wedge. This is a bullish setup, all right? Usually these descending wedges, we get breakouts to the top side and runs from out of these setups, all right? So that's what we're looking for. And in, in the past, Microvich has done that almost every single time, if not every single time, all right? So uh, that's going to be the first the first um, goal for us is number one, probably going to end up retesting this trend line again at some point. Uh, RSI still isn't all the way oversold yet. We're still a little high. We're 38 on the RSI. I really start considering oversold around 30, it's maybe 35, right? But we're going to have to dip a little bit more, I think, if we end up testing that trend line if not if we don't test the trend line then we're going to just rip through this all right we're going to be uh we're going to be leveling up at probably a pretty quick pace here i think people start buying in here this week or next week uh when they see this thing really starting to pick back up and getting back up towards that 1932 if that happens guys the 1932 is right below this golden zone all right so if we break above that 1932 and get a close it's probably highly likely that we're going to get above the golden zone all right because that's a key level in this stock and if you can get above 1932 there's enough power there to, to take us to catapult us above the golden zone which will give us another catapult up above to this uh you know this next level of structure which is somewhere around 2350 which would be a really key level for us all right so we break that uh we're gonna be 
on the road to making a higher high because once we get up here if we do get up above this again there's no structure up here all right there's nothing we got two touch points really two big touch points there's uh at the er, at, uh peaks at the top up here there's no real structure all right that means there's nothing stopping us from making a higher high and i know for sure i i can't say with 100 percent certainty but i'm 98 percent sure that if we break above you know 24 dollars we're going to make a higher high above 28 10. mark my words all right but we're talking about the short term, and uh, right now we have a lot of stuff to get through to even think about getting and doing that, all right? The first one is getting out of this wedge. The second one is, or the second, third, and fourth are breaking these key levels. And the fifth one is getting above that 1932 and that golden zone, all right? So I think we continue our bounce. We may have to retest here. Like I said, like I mentioned, we may have to retest here, but I think we continue the bounce off the trend line. As we gain momentum, we will get more people buying in. We get some FOMO going. We'll get some viral activity going. And uh, we're going to make our way back up to that golden zone. I'm, I'm pretty certain about it. All right, that's it for today, guys. There's not much else to talk about. All right, we're going to have to wait and see if we retest the, uh, the trend line here for an actual test or we just, you know, continue the up uh, the uptrend past this trend line and uh, break these key levels. All right. I appreciate you guys watching my video. If you guys like the video, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button on my channel, hit the notification bell to get notified when I go live. And uh, there's some information at the top right of the screen right now. If that interests you, send me a dis uh, DM on Discord and I will get you in on the team. All right. We'd love to have you. We've got 600 members. Uh, we got a lot of awesome people in there teaching, learning, and just being becoming better traders. All right. So that's a good place to be. Uh, that's it for now, guys. Peace and love from my end. Trademo James signing out.